Love and carry. Carry your baby with love. Love and carry may tie baby carrier. The forward carry, facing in position, can be used from birth. Put the baby on a spread out may tie baby carrier so their neck is level with the head pad and determine the excess length of the fabric. Roll the excess fabric up carefully. Tie the rolled belt on your waist tightly with a double knot. Adjust the width of the baby carrier's back, making small folds with the excess fabric. The two-month-old baby Leo will help us to show the further instructions. Bring the baby up to your breast. Holding it with one hand, take the baby sling back and throw its long straps over your back. Make sure that the baby's hips are spread in a comfortable position and that their knees are symmetrical. Take the strap on your left shoulder and pull it under your right armpit. Change hands and do the same with the other strap. This should make a cross on your back. Tighten the baby sling straps and cross them under the child's buttocks. Pull the straps to your back and tie them in a double knot. The forward carry, facing in position, can be used from about four months. It is not necessary to reduce height and width for an older baby. Tightly tie the belt around your waist in a double knot. The seventh month old baby Radomir will help us to show this way of wrapping. Bring the child to your breast. Make sure that its hips are spread and knees are parallel. Holding the child, take the baby sling back and throw its long straps over your back. Grab the strap on your left shoulder and pull it under your right armpit. Change hands and do the same with the other strap. Tighten the baby sling straps and cross them under the child's buttocks. Pull the straps to your back and tie them in a double knot. Do not forget to straighten the fabric under the child's knees. Security check. The child fits snugly in the May tie carrier. The baby carrier supports the baby's back and head. The baby's face is over the baby carrier's back. The baby's chin is not pressed into their breast. The baby's knees are symmetrical and higher than their buttocks. The physiologic M position is kept. Useful information. Ideas for the straps. You can tie the May tie carrier straps in various ways. Wind the straps under the baby's waist, bring them under their knees and to your back. Tie in a double knot. You can also just crisscross the straps across your stomach and pull them behind your back. Do not forget to tie a double knot. Baby's head support with a hood. For a sleeping baby, take a hood out of the pocket and fit it to the back of your baby's head. If necessary, tighten the straps. Watch that the baby's mouth and nose are not covered with fabric. How to feed a baby in the May tie baby sling. Carefully loosen the shoulder straps of the baby carrier. 
take them from under the baby's knees. Bring the child to the level of the mother's breast. Tie the straps in a double knot again. Having fixed the hood from both sides, you'll be able to hide the process of breastfeeding. After feeding, return the wrapping to a standard position. Teething pads. You can also purchase the waterproof teething pads, which are attached to the May Thai carrier shoulder straps. They prevent the baby's saliva from getting on the baby sling, so it remains clean. How to take the baby out of the baby sling? Loosen the May Thai sling shoulder straps and remove them carefully from under the baby's knees. Holding the baby, take off the shoulder straps of the baby carrier. Take your baby in your arms. Be closer to each other with love and carry. Search for even more helpful information on loveandcarry.com.